Welcome back. Let's dive right into this. Let's go into object mode and let's right click and shade smooth. Okay. And what that does is you can see it takes, uh, well, it just smooths out our geometry. Now let's take it even further and add a subdivision surface modifier. Okay. And that really smooths out our model. For the time being, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's let's do some edge slides. We haven't really done those yet. So I'm gonna kick this off and you can see that right here, um, so this, this is the cowling. And there's one section that's kind of two sections and the cowling is just, it's just the cover that goes over the engine, right? So what we're gonna do right now is the number three, not numpad three, but the number three and that switches into uh, face select mode. Three is face select mode, two is edge select mode, and one is vertex mode. So if you hit three, you can uh, select the face. And uh, let's put a hole in our cowling to, uh, so that we can, we can bring an exhaust pipe out. Okay, so all I'm going to do is hit I to inset. And then I'm going to scale that in. I'm just moving my mouse. That's all I'm doing is moving my mouse. Okay, grab this a little bit and bring it over like that. Let's add a little more geometry. Let's add a loop cut here, like that. And then let's add a loop cut here. Let's shift click and get these right here. And uh, let's scale in on the Y and kind of bring that together. You see, all I'm doing is kind of creating um, just a little frame, right? And we can, we can grab this vert. If you want to slide it along the existing edge, you just hit double G. I'm just going to hit double G right here, and it slides it along the existing edge. I'm going to escape out of that. So now here, all we really need to do here is just kind of, you know, just make the loose shape for our exhaust pipe to come out of. And then if this is a little too wobbly, which, you know, that's... We can come here, we can select all of these, and then we can come here and select these. And I think we have all of them. Do we have all of them? Yeah, okay. We haven't really, we haven't done any edge sliding. Just hit double G. And now we're just gonna slide these back and now it kinda, it, it, it smooths all of this out, okay? I guess once we have this where we like it, we can slide that up, slide this down, slide that over. Uh, hit number hit uh, hit number three and select these faces and we're going to extrude but we want to extrude along normal so this is this is super important you can come over here and hit extrude region but make sure you extrude along normals and that comes out but we don't want it to go out we want it to go in. Okay, if it's if it doesn't look like it needs to, you know, don't underestimate a loop cut. A loop cut, a little loop cut can go a long way. Okay, now you can see we're we're putting holes in our model. Save our work. Perfect. So let's Alt click here, and then I'm just going to double G to kind of line this up on that. Now let's Control B to bevel, and just bevel just a tiny bit. Um, and so now let's extrude just a little bit, right? And then if we pop out of it and want to see what that looks like, it's like there's there's a section, right? Okay, wireframe mode might be easier for this one. And now let's do the exact same thing right here. We can go Alt-click. Um, if you don't hit Control-B, you can bevel this like that. And then we'll uh, G to grab this along like that and then let's extrude along normals and we'll go in just just a scotch okay so let's take this one alt click control B to bevel a little bit like that extrude along normals we can pull that in like that we don't want to pull it too much it's a detail. It's just a minor detail. And if you want to do every one of these, you know, you can see there's some edge wear along the seams. You know, if you want to do every one of them, great. Go ahead. 
you know, I, I support that a thousand percent. I'm just going to do a couple of them. And you know what, when it comes to texturing, I, I think I, I am going to try and do a couple uh, rows of, of bolts and screws and stuff like that, just to see if we can do that procedurally. I think that'll be, that'll just be a fun little experiment. Okay, let's build out the wing. So let's go into object mode and add a new cube. And let's grab this on the Y and scale this down to about there. Then grab it up on the Z and grab it over on the Y. And we can scale it down even further. We can scale it down like that and grab this down on the Z like that. And then tab into object mode, extrude along the Y like that and then extrude again and scale it on the Z like that and then you know what add a little cut here and scale it on the Z like that okay we extrude on the Y and now we scale on the Z and I'm gonna bring this down now, I'm going to select this whole thing, scale it on the Y, numpad 7 into top view, and then let's scale on the Y a little more. And we want to match this up. So this is about here, and this is about here. Okay. And then let's, here, let's call this a wing. Okay. Now, Let's select everything. We're going to right click and come over to properties, add a mirror modifier. It doesn't do anything. We want to control R to add a loop cut. Click, escape out of that, lock it in with enter. Select halvesies, delete our verts, hit A to select everything, add a mirror modifier. You want to see you can go in object mode and see the whole thing we're in edit mode and we're loving it we're going to save our work so now that we're here let's grab this grab it up on the Z just to scotch and extrude it out on the X to about here actually then let's select all of it and scale it on the Z just to make it a little bit thicker and grab it up on the Z as well. Still need to scale it on the Z and about there. Um, for the time being, let's take this here and extrude on the X out to the edge of our wing, which is about there. So now we want to scale it down on the Z to almost barely nothing, right? Real, real teeny. And then grab it on the Z and bring it up. To about there magic formula okay nice little wing until you go into top view and then you're like hey now hey now that's not what we're trying to do I thought you were an all-star and then you turned out not to be so let's grab this on the Y and let's uh, let's shape out our our model right we're gonna grab this back to about there let's add loop cut here Grab this, move that back on the Y, just to kind of create that shape there. Let's grab these. Move that back on the Y. We'll grab this up on the Y, and we're really just shaping out our wing, right? Just like that. Let's add another loop cut about here. Okay, we'll grab these on the Y, about that. Let's add another one right about here. Grab this on the Y. We'll grab these on the Y like that. And just here, you know what? Let's grab these on the X actually. Bring these in, scale these together on the Y like that. And then let's add a loop cut here. 
and scale that out on the Y. And then if you want to, you can add, we can add this little nub here, right? And we can scale that down like that. We can grab this back and I'm just, I'm just moving and shaping and shucking and jiving and weaving and fancy. Now let's kick into front view. And this should, if you did it, you know, if everything worked, this should be aligned, which huzzah for us, it is. Yeah, pretty. Okay, so we got a wing. Now, if it's selected, we can right click to shade it smooth. And that, that can be enough sometimes. Like we might, I don't think we need a subdivision surface modifier. If yours looks weird for any reason, uh, click this green triangle down here, which is the object data properties. Come to normal and hit auto shade smooth. And that, that can give you give you some angles back if you need it but you know you might not need it it might just do it might do well enough um, on its own if you see some wonky shadows then you might need uh, you might need to to enable that auto smooth and we're coming along okay it's coming along you guys we're doing we're doing okay not too shabby all right so everybody save your work um, you know what we can do what I'd like to do. Let's keep going with the tail, okay? And I'm just gonna extrude on the Y to the end there. And then we can scale this in a little bit like that. We can scale this on the Z and pull up. But for now, let's take care of our elevator, okay? So let's, yeah, let's tab in object mode, shift A to add another cube, and we're gonna call this cube the elevator. We're gonna build it the exact same way that we built our wing. Let's scale this son of a gun, like so. And we'll grab it up on the Z, just moving it into position here. We can, we can hide our fuselage just to see this a little clearer. All I'm doing is scaling on the Z, and all we're doing is we're essentially lining up the shape at the very end of our elevator. We're extruding on the Y. This is just, we're extruding on the Y, and we're scaling on the Z. That's really all that's happening right now, okay? Nothing major, nothing new, nothing major. Everything we've done so far, you already know how to do. Okay, and we can scale this on the Z a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna tab into top view. Okay, before we do any of that, you know what we need to do. We're gonna add a loop cut down the center. If you move it, that's no problem. Escape out of that. Enter to lock it in and then select these verts. Delete the heck out of them. Select all of our verts and let's add a mirror modifier. Okay. So we can grab this, bring this in on the X. And then let's extrude on the X and bring that out to about there. Let's grab this and bring this back on the Y. About there. We'll grab this, bring this back on the Y to about there. Bring this up on the Y. Bring this back on the Y. Okay, so let's add a loop cut here. And scale that out a little bit that and then let's extrude this out scale this down on the Y like that and then let's add another loop cut and just get some just to get some shape and we can add another one here if we want same thing we're just scaling out on the Y just to get a little shape. We can come here, we can grab these, we can scale these up on the Z and grab 
piece up on this head. Like that. And these we can scale down on the Z like that and like that and like that. We'll even grab this and like that. Okay. Okay, coming along. And I actually, I don't even think you need to shade this smooth. You can if you want to. We have been, so it's like, look, you can right click and shade smooth and that makes it nice and smooth, but I don't know that you need to add a, a subdivision surface. Let's, here, go ahead, just, just so you can see how that looks. You can see it's, it's nice and smooth, okay? And then if you wanna come here, you can see you might need to pull it out a little bit more. So let's, let's do that. Okay, we'll grab these on the Y, we'll grab these on the Y, and we'll grab these on the X, and then scale in on the Y for funsies. Okay. Nicely done. Okay, wing done, elevator done. Let's bring the fuselage back so we can see how everything looks. Okay, how we doing? How we looking? Uh, we're looking okay. That might be a little high for my tastes. Yeah, so this is high. This looks fine there, but here it's actually a little high. So I'm going to grab it on the Z and move it down. And again, we've talked about this. It's like, uh, you know, where do you want it to be off? It's going to be a little bit off. And we said we're just going to have to deal with that. And that's okay. Um, if you're using a mechanically precise reference drawing, you're not going to have this problem. But we're using the, the Keith Broomfield sketch. And say la vie, man. You know, we're just going to deal with it. Um, okay, so we made, we made a wing. And we made an elevator. And we uh, started to detail uh, the body a little bit. Showed, we how, showed us how we can do that. In the next one, we'll build out the canopy and the engine and the propeller and the spinner. And uh, we'll finish the model in the next one. So get up, get a bend, get a stretch. And I'll see you in the next one.